Today I'm making a small nylon bush for my brother's Yamaha motorcycle. It fits on the drive shaft which is just behind these exhaust pipes. The temperature in the workshop is 6 degrees. I fitted the two halves in the chuck using a four jaw chuck so that the two jaws hold the two separate parts together and now I'm just trying to plop the part up so that it's as true as possible. Because I've split the bush the part's now oval so it looks as if it's running out more than it is. I think I'll try it at that. I've set my gauge to zero and I'm just putting that over the top of the tool. This, this washer sticks out so it goes on the top of the tool. Now with this screw on the tool adjustment I raise the tool until the dial indicator moves, just move to zero. Now I can lock the tool in at that height and I know it's at centre line. Standing to one side because it's in two halves, so it may fly out the chuck. Use this small boring tool, which is sharp. I've got a true bore, I can check the size. It's 10.27. So what I'm making is a split bush. It'll fit on this shaft here. And also fit in the bore of this tube when the tube's on the shaft. A bit more out. Just the angle a bit. That's eleven point six. Now before I go any further with this, I'm going to true up the outside, so if it does come out of the chuck, I've got a reference point I can clock up when I refit it in the chuck. be 21 at the moment it's 26 
the problem with this material is that it's a bit spongy so you put a cut on it doesn't take anything off and next time you put a cut on it takes more off than you thought you would Only 1.1. I'll leave you at that. Does this will squash? So I'll just put a little lead on. Place is back off again. This is the part that's got to fit on there. And that just goes onto the lead and then gets tight, so that's ideal. This mark on here is where there's a seal that goes around the outside. Because this tube wasn't running true originally, it's worn into the tube. So with this, what we're making this bush for is to centralise the tube so that it runs true. That'll do. 16.5. So now the last job is to part it off, but bearing in mind it's two separate halves. Make sure it doesn't touch the chuck jaws. So I marked the back with black felt tip pen so I know it goes that way. There are the two halves which fit together. There's the bush inside the tube. I don't want to push it fully home, I won't get it out. This is the final drive shaft. As you can see we've got the splined drive shaft and this steel cover just gives it a nice finish. That slides over to about that position and then this bush will fit inside on the end. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time on Enox Engineering.